Logan Porter, deep left field, and gone for his first big league home run. Transferred to Dixie as a walk-on. Didn't play in the fall, and I was kind of like, "What? what's going to happen? You know, I was kind of, I wouldn't say overwhelmed. I was just kind of like, did I make the right uh, call? Yeah, call or solution, or did I take the right step? And <laughs> at the time, the two first basemen that were playing there, well, we had two catchers that were really good. They flipped back and forth. So I was like, well, there's two there. I'm screwed. And then you got two first basemen that absolutely lit up the fall. One was a lefty, one was a righty. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just transferred to this school. I was a captain for two years at the other school. Like, I wouldn't say I was a dude, but I was I was one of the better players. And I wasn't going to play. I mean, I my exit meeting in the fall, my junior year, I only had like five at-bats because I was hurt rehabbing. Our exit meeting with Coach Fate, he was like, hey, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. He was like, you're probably going to be like a bench guy. And I was like, a bench guy? And I was like, hell no. This is not – I did not come here to be a bench guy. So we took the steps, and I knew that you were getting into the whole swing stuff. And I was like, you know what? This is a big leap. I was like – and I remember – reaching out and I was like, I need this. I need this. Like if I want to continue playing just college baseball, right. Not even pro- professional baseball. I wasn't even thinking about that. I just wanted to start for our college team. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to take this leap. And that was the first, I mean, when I, when the coach told me I wasn't going to play, I was just, that was kind of like the first like slap in the face. I was like, yeah. I'm not going to play. I was like, okay. It kind of like lit the fire. I was like, that's what I needed to hear. I needed to hear that. And then we took the steps and I started working with you and it, I mean, it took off. It took off. I I remember training with you. It really helped. Honestly, it probably changed my career (laughs) if I'm going to be completely honest. Cause it was, I mean, you just sent me the video the other day of my swing and I was like, Jesus, what was I thinking? Like, what was I doing? And then to see the transition to where it is now, like, I mean, it's night and day. Um, but just the transition, uh, you know, we worked that whole entire winter break. I was hitting every single day, sending videos damn near every day. Yeah. Starting to get a feel of what I needed to do. I, I'm athletic enough where I can feel my body and I know what's right and what's wrong. Started to figure it out. And then going back into that uh, that spring or that January to Dixie, I knew that my opportunities were going to be very slim. But I knew that if I got an opportunity – I had to make the most mm-hmm. and the rest is history. I mean, I, I think I got out probably five times that, that spring coming in and inner squads to the point where the coach was getting pissed. He was like, is someone going to get this kid out? And I was like, that's when I knew I put myself in a good position. 